How's it going guys, Vapov here and welcome back to another video. Now, for the past couple of days, I've been working on making sure nearby sharing comes to all of my Android devices. And for those people who don't know what nearby sharing is, it's basically Android version of AirDrop. So if you've got multiple Apple devices, for example, sharing files between them is as easy as a tap. And for most of the time, it works seamlessly, it has no flaws, and people actually buy Apple devices just to be able to experience that. And in some cases, Apple owners don't even know about it, but it is there. It is definitely a selling point for Apple devices and it works because of Apple's close knit ecosystem. Now, Android is working on that and this version called Nearby Sharing is in beta. If you do want to get your hands on it, you need to download a Google Play Services beta and I'll leave the link to that down in the description. Once you've got that on your smartphone and once you've got that on your other smartphone as well, um, all you need to do is basically tap on the share icon on your smartphone and just click nearby sharing and it works seamlessly from there on. But Given the fact that Android now got a proper counterpart to AirDrop, I thought I'd test both of them out in some real world cases. So I've got two tests in this video, uh, basically comparing both AirDrop as well as nearby sharing. One is a sample with 50 images. So let's get into that. This one is basically me transferring 50 images from my iPhone 11 to my iPhone 7 using AirDrop, whereas it's doing the same thing from my Galaxy S20 Ultra to the OnePlus 7 using nearby sharing. And when we actually go ahead and click share or click the thing to start up the process, it looks like both of these smartphones can do it at the exact same time. Um, if you wanna be critical of the Android and iOS smartphones, you can say that the Android did it a bit faster and the iPhone was a bit slower in loading up all of the multimedia once it was transferred. However, um, do note that this is a beta version on nearby sharing. So while this time it didn't work really seamlessly, I tried it another time just to make sure the testing was as accurate and as reliable as possible. And it turns out it wasn't the case. Whereas with AirDrop, it was reliable and it took pretty much the same amount of time. The other test that I did when comparing these two was video. And this was a one gigabyte file. Uh, it's a 4K video, five minute video file. And again, I did the same thing using my iPhones as well as using my Android devices. And it turns out that nearby sharing actually did this faster than the AirDrop counterpart or version. And once again, a nearby sharing was able to load up the video faster compared to AirDrop. But again, you have to keep in mind that this isn't a consistent experience, whereas with AirDrop, it is. So I did it another time, and at the second time, where AirDrop did it seamlessly as the first, um, the Android counterpart couldn't uh, do it the same way, which means uh, this does have a fair few way or a fair few more updates to go before this thing becomes at, as reliable as AirDrop. And that's expected because this is a beta version at the end of the day, and it's not rolling out to every single customer out there. And Given the fact that this is beta, we can really test it out, see the flaws, and make sure that the final version that rolls out to pretty much everyone who has an Android version or an Android smartphone works the best and works as close to as AirDrop as possible. Now, speaking of nearby sharing, uh, this feature is also being ported over to Google Chrome. So you could use this with a Mac running Google Chrome or a Windows device using a Google Chrome. And I actually tried this on the computer that I have, and I could actually find the nearby sharing option. I enabled it using um, basically searching for the nearby sharing option using uh, control F, and I enabled it. However, uh, when I actually go to the page to enable nearby sharing to really transfer or facilitate the transfer of data from my phone to the computer, it says that the site cannot be reached. So obviously this means that the site is still in progress and it's not live yet, but for some people it works. I also tried this using Google Chrome beta, which I can show you right here. And again, it was the same thing. I enabled nearby sharing, but on this uh, version of Google Chrome, it says that nearby page, uh, nearby discovery page and nothing else. So I'm pretty sure these pages are live for some people and not live for other people, but it's definitely a service that's rolling out for Windows as well as Mac users and it'll make nearby sharing as close to as AirDrop as possible. Now, I don't know how the speed of the transfer is going to work, but uh, so far AirDrop has seemed the more consistent experience to me, but that could obviously change with future updates and this coming out of beta. And I'll be sure to do a video on this maybe at a later stage, maybe after two or three months, of you know this thing being the staple for transferring data from 
an Android device to another one and see the differences. But that was all for this video. I hope you guys found it useful. Again, if you want nearby sharing on your smartphone, click the link down in the description. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. This was Vabuff and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.